hey, God has answered my prayers. I never thought I would be back here. <laughs> and here I am. I haven't seen a buzz like this in L.A. since the late 80s when it was really showtime. There's been a lot of question about Mac and Johnson. I'm happy for him. If he feels um, healthy enough to play, um, I don't think he'll have any problem competing in this league. It's not going to be the magic of old. Like I said, Jordan will going to be the uh, Jordan of old. But that's what makes him happy, and that's what he should do. So... When Magic Johnson considered returning to the NBA, everyone from Michael Jordan to Charles Barkley was ready to welcome him back because he left the game not on his terms. November 7th, 1991, shocking announcement and is retiring as a player. December 1991, rumors of his return circulate after he is quoted as saying, I haven't ruled anything out. He later said he was misquoted and wasn't discussing returning to the NBA. September 1992, Magic wins a gold medal at the Olympics in Barcelona and announces his return as a Laker player for another season. November 1992, plays in exhibition games, then announces he is retiring again just before the start of the regular season. March 1994, becomes Lakers coach for the final 16 games, then retires from coaching with a 5-11 record. June 1994, becomes a part owner of the Lakers. May 1995, rumors again circulate Magic is considering a comeback. July 18th, scratch those rumors. I'm never coming back, he says. That's it. It's all over. I will move on with my businesses and have a good time with my family and my touring basketball team. January 1996, is considering practicing with the team but changes his mind, citing players' poor attitude. I don't know how to come back with a team like this, he says. I'd be fighting with somebody out here. He later begins practicing with the team. This would not be show, but it would be the late show. A different magic in a different role and a foreign body. His position was point forward, and he said he studied some tapes of his longtime rival and pal Larry Bird. At 36, he was 25 pounds heavier and a lot stronger because of weight training. Rather than run the show at point guard, where he can't possibly match up with players like Tim Hardaway and Rod Strickland, Magic had to take his game inside. Hell, he'd be pounding the boards, handling the ball, posting up, and stretching defenses. I know I'm five steps slower, but the hook shot is still there, Johnson said. I've got power inside. I know what to do, and I know what not to do. I'm not coming back thinking I will be Magic Johnson at the age of 20. I would be stupid, but I still know how to play this game. Johnson was not a Generation X player. He was a Generation XXXL. At 255 pounds, the late Lake Show? The thing that he's going to find out, the, the, uh, the most important thing is that the speed of the game has, has picked up quite a bit. I and mean, he's been playing these, these pickup games or whatever he's been doing. It's not the same intensity when you get back out here and you play with some of the best. So I think it's going to take him some time to, to get his timing back. You know, he may have one game here and the next game he can't get it together. I'm not worried about being the same player I once was, Johnson said before his return. I don't have to be the greatest player there is. Michael Jordan can't rise as he used to, but he is still the greatest on earth. I know I'm not Magic Johnson at age 25 or 26. I'm five steps slower than I once was. I'm going to let Nick Van Exel and Eddie Jones chase those little guards around. I'm too old for that. If you can't watch Johnson start and play what used to be his normal 37 minutes a night, what is the point? And this business is about him playing point forward in the low box. Is anybody going to get goosebumps over that? If Magic is not grabbing a defensive board, then charging up the floor and making a no-look pass to James Worthy flying in off the wing for a dunk? What good is it? To be honest, I can live without his upcoming epic battles against Joe Smith, Mark Bryant, or Eric Montrose of the world. It wasn't long before Magic proved that he still got it. He checked in, adjusted his shorts, and entered the game with 9.39 left in the first quarter and the Lakers up. The forum crowd rocked with a standing ovation. And now, the crowd on their feet. The warm-ups are coming off. And Magic Johnson returns to the NBA after the free throws. 
and Magic didn't disappoint. In his first six minutes, he had six points and an assist, leaving the Lakers up by seven. The first shot was a baby hook off the rim on his first trip down court. The first assist came with seven minutes left, a no-look pass from the top of the key to Anthony Peeler for a three-point swish from the right wing. The first basket was a coast-to-coast one-hander with 548 left in the first. State was one for 10 from the floor. Oh my! The first unbelievable move was a fake shovel pass that took in Latrell Sprewell and gave him a clear path. Rebound Divots to Magic. Nice. Ball fake. Oh, the Magic is back. His next time on the court, starting with 10-26 left in the second quarter, he created or scored on three straight possessions. First, he led his first fast break, dishing to Sedale Threat who fed Cedric Sabalos. Then he posted up Chris Gatling, bobbled the ball, but recovered to make a lefty hook. He posted up Gatling again and found Sabalos going back door. Magic Johnson. Magic nice. looking for the pass to Sabalos. <laughs> oh, goodness. Three assists. With 6.46 left in the half, he revived the old Laker break with a shuffle move at the foul line and an assist to a wide-open Eddie Jones. He's cycling. Bad luck. Magic running, finding Eddie Jones for the Tomahawk. He ain't can finish. This is a great finishing team. The stat line for his first half was 13 minutes, 10 points, five assists, and one rebound. That's the end of the first half. Lakers lead it by nine. And this on Tuesday, January 30, 1996. Mark it down. Magic Johnson, first half numbers on the return. Johnson's retired jersey still hangs on the forum wall, alongside those of Worthy, Abdul-Jabbar, West, Chamberlain, and Baylor. But that was a remnant of Showtime. This is being called The Lake Show. This was a 36-year-old man who had missed four and a half seasons save for some exhibition games in the fall of 92, an NBA All-Star game, an Olympics against opponents who asked for autographs, and a bunch of games versus players around the world who couldn't even beg an invitation to one of the summer pickup games Johnson and his friends play at UCLA. Nervous, Johnson said. Anybody would be. Probably more because it's been a long time. Everything's brand new in a sense. It's almost like my first NBA game. That night, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar beat the San Diego Clippers with a late hook, and Johnson celebrated by jumping into his arms. There was none of that frenzy that night. Then came the move, the one that confirmed it and made it clear that Magic Johnson might be larger, stronger, more muscular, less spectacular than before, but he still had arms like an octopus and eyes in the back of his head. Magic followed his miss. Divock took the rebound and fed it back. Sprewell spread his wings. Magic pretended to pass the basketball in the general direction of Hollywood Park. Sprewell followed his misdirection and moved in the general direction of the kid with the towel who mopped up the sweat. On radio and TV, Chick Hearn said Sprewell fell for it like a carp going after a worm. Magic laid it up and in. What did you think of that fake, Latrell? The fallen warrior was asked after the game. Hey, what could I think? Sprewell shot back. He got me. That was a sweet move. And that ended the game, though not the show. Magic Johnson played 27 minutes of his homecoming game. And guess what? Golden State never led. Not once did the Lakers fall behind. They won the game by 10. Their total of 128 was the highest by a Warrior opponent in a regular length game all season. Dream Team teammate of old Chris Mullen said of Magic, all the good things he used to do, he still does. He'll always have those skills. He will find your man if you turn your head for a minute. He'll never lose that. It was like watching a Magic Johnson impersonator. The resemblance was uncanny. Okay, a little thicker around the hips, a little rounder in the cheeks, but otherwise, yeah, he's got him down cold. Magic Johnson returned to his old locker, put on his uniform, and was up to his old tricks. 
The night was a total success. Well, almost total. He didn't make the all-star team. He could have had a quadruple double with two or more rebounds and eight more steals. In 27 minutes, he scored 19 points on 7 of 14 shooting as the Lakers beat the Warriors 128-18. I'm over here with Magic's wife, Cookie, and uh, this has to be a very exciting day for you guys. Oh, yeah, I'm ecstatic. It's, it's almost like deja vu seeing him in that, that uniform again, but it's a good feeling. Well, he's worked really hard to get back in shape. He said that you were really one of the reasons why he pursued it so hard. Yeah, um, in the past, I was totally against it. But this time, I really felt peace about it, and I told him, you know, go ahead. Get it out your system. I know you got a hot bath and some Epsom salt going for his body when he gets home, huh? That's right. All right, Cookie, thanks a lot. Enjoy the game. Okay. Hello. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. yay, Daddy. Say yay, Daddy. And he just plain made the game fun again. The bulked-up Johnson posted opponents up at his new forward position, but still found opportunities to handle the ball and lead the break. His outside touch needs work, but he sported a dangerous left-handed hook. Don't stop. Enjoy life. No matter what happens, if you pray and the guy will answer your prayer, just keep living. Everything is all right. Put that smile on your face and continue to live. No matter if you're handicapped, HIV positive, whatever it is, just keep living. You know, and hey, God has answered my prayers. I never thought I would be back here. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> I, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs>